Good morning everybody and welcome to another reaction and I am so sorry it has been weeks since we have put out a reaction. Uh, my uh, baby boy Jackson was born a month ago and so I've been trying to spend a lot of time with him and uh, I've been focused really on him. Also haven't been getting really any sleep so there's that as well but he is healthy and he's happy and uh, it's been uh, the best thing to ever happen to me. So. That's been so much fun, but you know, has really been the forefront of everything. And uh, also work has been crazy. So we are going to get rolling again. And so I thought, what better to get back into reactions than our boy Tom McDonald. He just dropped a song today called I Don't Care. So excited to check us out. Tom, I wanna let you know uh, your show in Spokane, we are like 95% positive we are going to get there the only thing that would stop me is obviously there was something with my little man but anyways other than that we are going to be there and uh, we are excited to see you if something comes up i'll make sure to let you know anyways let's check out tom mcdonald i don't care honestly i'm sick to death of hearing the complaints everybody wants to tell me how i've changed i think somehow i'm responsible for bodies filling graves if i made the songs they wanted were they fans i could have saved man that's a lot of weight wait i thought it would be great to entertain and now i understand why mumble rappers say the things they say they don't want any obligation to the fan base they create i guess my morals won't allow me to be famous if it's fake i barely Ooh. He's talking about if he would have made the songs that fans wanted them to make, you know, how much bigger would his fan base be? And then also that he's being blamed for, um, you know, blamed for things that, you know, people take out of context or, you know, and then he says, you know, he's talking about how mumble rappers just say this stuff, don't have to take credit for it. Like there, this is going deep. There's a little bit of, uh, which which is good. There's a little bit of like NF type vibe here with with the video and kind of the 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 instrumental. I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe I was living in the ghetto, always praying my potential wouldn't go to waste before I could escape it. I just had a mental breakdown. Rent was due. I couldn't pay it. Killing roaches, scraping guts up all the plates and being patient. Hey, Left me, we were broken, we were desperate right before it got too heavy. I went viral off a record. Never signed a deal, I did it on my own. I made all the beats, I heard every song, didn't I believe I do it all along? Told me I was weak, I showed up, I'm strong. Never should have been against me. Thought my anxiety was gonna break me. Thought my depression would get in my head for a second and leave. I didn't never let me. Thought I'd be alright, but I didn't know it would be so bad. Thought I'd be alright, but I didn't know it would be so bad. I didn't know it would be so bad. Man, that was a lot. That was a lot. So I was so broke, I was scraping the plates just to get by. Um, girlfriend almost left me and basically like right at that point they made enough because the record sales um, you know never signed a deal did it all on his own right up wrote all the songs um, I know Tom makes a lot of his own beats I don't know if he makes I, I can't remember if he just said the song but I know he makes a lot of his, his own beats and, and so does that as well they ship everything themselves, which is insane. Like, goodness, it's crazy. So, you know, this song is just talking, and like, it's, and this song is just talking about, you know, kind of where he came from and how hard he's worked to get it. You know, it's cool. Everybody says I changed up, changed up. what they're saying i get death threats every day and saw my family call me garbage call me racist try to tell my therapist that i'm afraid i can't explain it Ugh. i love that i love that and i'm not gonna I, i'm not gonna sit here me and austin won't sit here and compare our channel and our stuff and anything like that to you know the type of hate 
that Tom McDonald gets thrown at him. It's not comparable, not only because of size, but because Tom has some controversial stuff that people get upset about sometimes. I love it. But um, people comment on, he says people comment on his stuff like it's that he doesn't read. And it's, it's funny because I've said this before in videos, I read almost every comment and I try to respond to as much as possible. And even though 98% of the time, 99% of the time, all those hateful comments about us being racist and inbreds and just hillbillies, just weird things like the, you know, just stuff that, you know, like people call us just red, stupid rednecks and hillbillies and stuff like that. We kind of take pride in that. But, you know, you get called this names and all this stuff over and over and over and hundreds of times. And by, sometimes it's just like, uh, we're just having fun out here. It gets tiring. It gets tiring. Tobacco, don't touch me, I'm anxious, all of this money I'm banking, don't make me happy, I can't win, don't get it wrong, no, I'm thankful, wanted attention, it happened, pressure from standards established, amplified anger and sadness, can't deny that it did damage, hey, take the bucks I made, take off all the chains, take the braids out of my hair, laser the tattoos off my face, stop comparing me to hops and token NF and M, I think they're great, but so am I, and I don't want to be them, and I never change, I'm not... That's funny. So... I love it. I had said, I had said earlier that this beat and the the music video had an NF feel. Now NF is one of my favorite rappers. Tom McDonald is one of my favorite rappers. Probably, I mean, the, probably, probably. Top three. Because Up Church is in there too. And I'm not going to put that into which one's my number one. Uh, that's, that's uh, you know. But, you know, I love that. I love he says, stop comparing me to them. You know, I, Tom and NF, you know, and Hobson and all those guys, they're so, they're so different. And there's no reason to compare them. Um... Like I said, there there was NF feels to the side. Sorry, there's NF feels to it, but um, I would never compare those guys, any of those guys, because they're so different. They're so talented. They all have their own styles, their own um, things they throw into the mix. That they, they all they all have their they're so different that I couldn't compare them. They have times they're like, oh yeah, that's a similar feel here and there. But they're all some of the best in the game right now. And that's just my opinion. Some people will probably think that's ridiculous, but that's just my opinion. And uh, I just love what he said there because it was kind of like, I, I mentioned about NF earlier, so <laughs> my bad. But you guys know what I mean. I'm always trying to borrow 50 bucks. Uh, hey, I put my fingers to death. I even embarrassed my friends. I didn't care if I died. I was honestly hopeful that I wouldn't wake up again. But I'm back now. Not the end of that man. But now I'm scared. Crap. Last round. Believe me, I'm ready to scrap until they back down. Doctor gave me pills. Told me I was sad. Never took them to open them in the trash. Made a couple mil. Money doesn't last. Trying to smile a bit. Living in the past. Everybody says I changed. Doctor gave me some pills and told me I was sad, never took them though and threw them in the trash. Yep. Been there. Symbol of the work I did that's finally acknowledged. This is robbed at corner stores while getting soda and some chocolate. This is bullied all my life by kids at school. I ain't forgotten. It. This is profit that I got from sacrificing food and water. This is dollars I had after finally paying back my father. This is failing grades and skipping class and dropping out of college. You can't stop me, that's your problem. I will get it if I want it. Stop telling me that I switched sides. My life changed. I'm a different guy. My mom proud. My girl stole my sister. Happy I didn't die. They're mad instead of saying Tom, I wish you the best. Of course I. I had to go and buy a bulletproof vest because I was stressed. Yeah. 
Oh man. Oh, I love this song. I love this song so much. Um, I like what he said there. He said, um, he said, my parents are proud. My girlfriend, I can't remember what he said. Um, and then my, my sister is happy I didn't die. Um, you know, it's crazy how, like, you know, there, there's so much, um, you know, for me, family is so important and what my family thinks about me is, is very important. And uh, through this process with having my, with having Jackson, my boy, and, and stuff, and, and uh, you know, it's been so cool to see my family rally around me um, and uh, just support me in this new stage and, uh, and support Jackson's mom mom in this new stage and uh it's just been uh it's been cool and i i just know what that feeling is when your family tells you they're proud of you um and how much that means to you so i just really like that line and then i love of course i've changed i've had to buy a bulletproof vest <laughs> Another great song by Tom McDonald, man, you killed it. I love it. Um, no, nah, it was just a, it was a, it was a song, you know, because we've heard a lot of songs lately from Tom McDonald and Manchild, which are great. Uh, they came out with Drugs Last, which was a total incredible flex track. I loved it. Um, you know, they've come out with White Trash, which is my anthem still. I listen to it every day. Um, but that was a good song by Tom, just kind of expressing what he's gone through and where he's at and, um, and the struggles between there and the successes through there. And just saying, all these people are saying I've changed and, and all these people are putting all these pressures on me and saying, I just don't care. Like, I'm going to keep doing me every day. I'm going to keep making my music and, uh, you know, supporting my fans and and being there for my fans and my family and my girlfriend I'm gonna, like I'm gonna keep doing me keep doing what I've been what I've done to get me here because it's working so don't tell me don't tell me how to change what's working for me so uh, that's one reason we love Tom um, it's uh, it's awesome so um, anyways Tom excited to see you um, in Spokane like I said we most likely will be there and uh, we cannot wait for that so anyways thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and comment below let us know what you think of this video again i apologize for not putting up a lot of videos in the last month baby jackson has been taking a lot of time so um, i know you guys understand i know you guys have been praying um, for us and for jackson so thank you um, and we will see you guys next time